Welcome to my world, everyone. This is Like It or Not with Michael Lane, and Michael Lane is who I be. A lot of people have been saying, man, you haven't been posting any videos too much. Uh, what's going on with you? Well, life, life, you know. Um, busy with the radio show, busy with, you know, family life and all this other stuff. It's just a lot of things that that gets in the way. And uh, so I'm going to try and, and post some more videos. Uh, I'm going to try. And it's going to be out. It's going to be difficult, but, you know, I can do it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so anyway, it's just a lot of things in life that goes on. and uh, But I have a lot. So I'm planning on talking about the two shootings, you know, in Oklahoma and Carolina. Uh, I'm, I'm going to definitely have a series on Colin Kaepernick and exposing Cop uh, Colin Kaepernick, exposing him and exposing black people. I'm also going to try and uh, uh, put together and produce uh, an Obama video and how much he doesn't care about you black folks. He could care less. And I have proof. And I'm also going to uh, pretty soon drop a video on you guys about blacks and their lies about Obama. Black people lying about their voting for Obama. The reasoning behind it. I will expose them. Black folks. The more black people call you sellouts and Uncle Toms, it's really the fact to cover, really to cover up the fact that they are the ones. But I'm not uh, here to really get deep into what I'm going to talk about uh, as far as uh, making the videos and producing videos. But what I am going to talk about is this. Ladies and gentlemen, you guys in America have uh, created this. This is now the United or the Divided States of Liberal Land. This is the Divided States of Chicago, if you will, or the Divided States of Liberal Land, where the Constitution does not require you to have a difference of, of opinion. You must have group thinking. You must think like the liberals do, or else you're done. Let's go to baseball because, you know, on my show, I talk about sports. But you know what? I'm coming very close to just dumping sports altogether, not talking about sports anymore, uh, and not, not really not, not watching sports or supporting sports anymore. I'm getting to the point where, I mean, baseball, basketball, football, NFL, all of these places, they are politically mo motivated. They're moving in a certain direction you have idiotic nutworks like espn who is now the new ES, who is now the new msnbc you have all these clowns now with their feminazi movement and their far left liberal and hateful movement hateful to, hate hatred towards cops hatred hatred towards white people and i'm sick of it hatred towards america and i'm sick of it I may just stop sports altogether. I'm really coming close to it because everything is being touched and infiltrated and bombarded by liberalism. Everything else is illegal. Just ask Steve Clevenger of the Seattle Mariners. He's a Seattle Mariners catcher and he's a former Chicago Cub. Yes, I'm being from Chicago. It's close to me. And Steve Clevenger was suspended for the rest of the season, the baseball season, without pay. Now, he's being treated worse than a lot of these cops that shot down black people uh, or actually murdered black people because some of them don't even get punished at all. And I'm talking about the wrong cops, not just most, most, most cops are good. But the bad cops, they'll shoot down somebody. Whether no matter what race they are, they'll shoot an unarmed person. And they just they'll get desk duty and get paid. Then they're back. They're back on the force in a couple of months. But this guy has been suspended. And probably his career is over for tweets 
And all he did was tweet his opinions about uh, uh, the protests in Carolina. He lashed out against the Black Lives Matter movement and against President Obama. Let me read you to you some of the um, the, the posts, I mean, the, the, the tweets. He said, black people beating whites when a thug got shot holding a gun by a black officer. Ha ha. S-H-I-T cracks me up. Keep kneeling for the anthem. That's in regards to uh, Colin Kaepernick. He also goes on to say, to tweet, Black Lives Matter is pathetic once again. Obama, you are pathetic once again. Everyone involved should be locked behind bars like animals. Those were the tweets. Uh, I don't see the racist uh, connotation behind that. But let me explain. Uh, he, of course, well, let me get to this. Clevenger was forced to release a statement of apology before he was suspended and you know, his career is probably done, done for. Now, whether you agree with it or not, now, all of the, all of the statements that he said, I agree with some of it. But there's a couple things in there that I disagree with. Maybe one thing or two things I, I, I didn't agree with. But all because I disagree with it. Does that take away his right to express himself? I'm just asking. But let me answer it. In liberal land, yes. Yes, it does. It does mean you have no right to speak. You need to shut the heck up. You have no right to speak. No matter if you agree or disagree. No one has the right to express themselves, to disagree with them. And he was right. Black people it were threatening and beating up white folks who had nothing to do with anything. They were hopping on top of cars, pounding on the cars, stopping traffic. Again, t doing harm to people that had nothing to do with the shooting incidents. And when he talks about Obama and Black, Black Lives Matter, they are race agitators. It's just that simple. They're the agitators. As a matter of fact, President Obama, and I believe Black, Black Lives Matter is included, they're being sued. They're being sued for inciting riots and causing uh, pain, infliction, and damage to, to people who suffered as a result. And I think, they were, I think they were the cops who paid the price for the speech of Hillary Clinton, for the speech of, of President Obama. These, these people don't care. It's not that they care. It's just that they want to divide and conquer. That's the only way they can conquer, by dividing. That's the only way they can do it. And we fall for it, hook, line, and sinker all the time. But here we have ESPN, a.k.a. MSNBC, the far-left feminazi uh, liberal movement, in an article written by Kavitha, Kavitha Davidson, I believe her name is, well, she talked about uh, Mr. Clevenger and called him, said that those were racist tweets, and then tried to justify Colin Kaepernick's protests. So we can say, uh, so we can stop calling Colin Kaepernick's protests meaningless now. They use every, every bit of, of, of so-called controversial words and they try to justify this. They try to justify Collins' idiocy. And it's not like, I'm telling you, once you listen to my videos on what I think about Colin Kaepernick, it should open up a lot of eyes. Because it's not what people think. It's not what you think. So all you idiots who are emotional, don't jump to conclusions. But, but this far left feminazi went on to say, that uh, Clevenger was being uh, 
I guess kind of crazy by saying that uh, he was implying that uh, the uh, the riots are because that w it wasn't protests it was riots the riots were too loud while in the same breath criticizing a silent protest by a fellow ath athlete this is what no 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 those are two separate things he wasn't talking about the silent protest being too loud. He was saying the silent protest by Kaepernick was a disrespect to the flag and to this country. And everybody has their opinion. But here in America, you guys voted for it. You have all these Democrats and you guys are about to vote in Hillary Clinton and to continue this, this idiocy where you do not have freedom of speech, you have freedom of liberalism. And if you have any opposing statements, any opposing stance, stances, you'll lose your job, you'll get fired, you'll get suspended, and you'll get thrown in jail. And you probably will face the death penalty, like it or not. Like it or not. Like it or not. Like it or not. Like